So today we'll be having a look at how we can create audio occlusions for our GT5 MLOs. So getting down to the requirement, the very first requirement is going to be our MLO. So make sure that you have completed your MLO and it has a proper portal and room setup. You need to have a good room and portal setup in order to get proper audio occlusion working in game. And our next requirement is going to be our audio occlusion tool. I'll put the link down in the description. You can just open that, go to release and just download the latest version over here. And third requirement is going to be our code worker. So make sure to download that from code worker discord. I'll put the link of the discord down in the description too. So next hopping into our code worker, let's open up our RPF explorer. And what we need to do is to extract our Y type Y map for our MLO as XML. So I have got my Y type and my Y map over here. So I'm just going to right click and export as XML. I'm going to create a new folder in my audio fusion tool. Next, we can just open up our audio fusion tool. And as you can see, it's asking for our Y map and Y type code work XML. So you can just drag and drop these in our tool. Let's create a project name, select a path, give our interior name and create project. Next, we can go to our portals. So as you can see, we have our portal index, room, interior from, interior to and enable status. So the best thing to do is to refer to your Y type. So as you can see, my very first portal, portal zero over here has two entities, two doors over here. So this is my portal zero. As you can see, the portal zero goes from zero to one and one to zero. So it goes to and from limbo to room one. And we can just enable or disable the portals if you want. And over here to the entities panel. Over here, as you can see, our very first portal index zero, and it has the room direction from limbo to our very first room. And it has two models, which is two doors. And the main thing over here is our max occlusion rate. So the max occlusion rate over here will determine the amount of audio, which is, uh, which is passing through the portals when the door is open or closed. So if the door is closed, there will be 0 0.7 rate. And if I just set the rate to 1.0, so when the doors are closed, there will be no audio transmitting from the portals. And then we can set the entity type if it is a door or a glass. Just make sure that you don't enable both the options. Just select either one of these. And then the second audio occlusion is from our main room to our limbo. We can just set the same value over here, which we set for our earlier room. And then we can do this for all of our rooms and select the glass type or the door type. So let's say I have my portal over here, which has window. So it has already detected from the name if it's a window or a door. So in case you, the detection for you is not proper, you can just enable and disable. And then go to our rooms panel. So in our rooms panel, we have all the rooms listed, which we have created in our MLO. And the main thing to notice over here is reverb and echo. You can also fill out these zones and change all the unknown values, but we're not going to deal with that. You can experiment with that yourself. The main thing we are going to deal over here is reverb and echo. So let's try to set our washroom echo to 1.0 and our washroom lobby to 0 0.5 and we can also set our main room reverb to let's say 0 0.2 and we can also set the entities over here so the max occlusion rate I've already changed for the entrance door let's change that for our portal of our washroom so my washroom portal is going to be third and the fourth. 
so the male washroom is going to be our fourth portal so this is our male washroom let's change the max occlusion rate to 1.0 so when the door is closed no volume or no audio will pass to and from the portal or the male washroom so once we are satisfied with all the values which we have set up we can just go back to our home tab and click on write files and then if we just go to our target path we can see that we have our dat151 file and uh, another file which is a ymt file so we need these two files so what we can do is just open up our rpf explorer again enable edit mode and we can just drag and drop these files over here so once you have your ymt and rel file we can just open up our mlo stream folder we can just drag our ymt file into a stream folder and we can drop our rel file in our audio folder and i am also going to rename it and once you have placed your rel file we need to make some changes to our manifest so let's open up our manifest so first of all we are going to create a new file entry so it is going to be our audio and the file name which is our full name of the file then we are going to need a new data mounter so we just copy paste this and change the file name to our original file name and make sure that you add the prefix or the file path which is in your folder or the file path which is in your resource folder so audio and then the file name and now we can just fire up our server and test the results in game.